start on the platform of the 1037 East Midlands Railway service from Grimsby Town to Leicester. was nothing of significance. He's nine minutes early because he didn't wait any time at Trent Junction because there's nothing in his way. Let's move down to Barriers. We're made at Attenborough with a poster specifically for Greater Anglia. What we can make of that. Let's see what's gone done fucked it this time. Last time we was here I think was the end of May last year at a push. And of course it wasn't the best date then but then we had more services didn't we? Now we've got minute. What's going to happen? Attenborough Station level crossing in Nottinghamshire. Or thereabouts. Well, that one sounds near enough like smashing glass. That one skirts all loose and dangly. It's now 10.45 on Monday the 16th of May 2022 for the 10.47 cross-country train service from Nottingham to Birmingham New Street. That previous CMR that ran past us 10 minutes early, still waiting his time at Beeston. I think it's the first time a train to call there spent 10 minutes at platform without delay. So that's what passed us that we didn't see with now a 10 minute stop at Beeston. He's got three more minutes to go. We're, oh, right, so no, we've cancelled uh, 1D37 due to a continued signalling problem at Market Harbour that started at 1am and is yet to be solved. The train's already here. On 73.98. For Birmingham New Street. I don't know what's going to happen next because I've got next to no bloody trains left. Next one's in 10 minutes. Right, so the incident at question affecting the Midland Main Line is initially they were on Network Rail was unable to clear Leicester Signal 209 at Market Harbour. The incident has now been upgraded minutes ago to theft of signalling cables because it's affecting six signals, including that one in the area. So I don't really know what we're going to end up seeing today. Luckily, I don't need a Midland Mainline train. Count ourselves lucky. This barrier looks bent from this angle, which it is. It was probably hit because the skirt's all loose and dangly. my own self-assessment, I deem that that's been sheared off. Possibly by a road vehicle colliding with it because of not waiting at red road traffic signals. 10.56 for the 10.54 cross-country service from Cardiff Central to Nottingham. I'm going to move after this because then there's a 20 minute, 15, 20 minute gap and that easily is enough time to get around Barton Line, which is about 15 minutes away. Then some will find a gap there to get back here again.
So next, double stay, which seems fun. Will we start Barton with two doubles? Oh, that looks really interesting. That means it might actually happen. Not by interesting of oh something special. We're not joining Mr. Tumble today. Here yeah, before we know it, because they come really quickly here. Told you. Two for Nottingham. Right, so just before we go down for a local and a fast local, which next stops Beeston, our next Midland mainline service is in about 20 minutes, with a delay of 71 minutes due to the continued signalling problem because of cable theft first thing this morning. Bugger me. It's going to make things even funner over at Beeston and Nottingham. <laughs> I've got limited call here. I'd have usually two trains an hour each way. Grant Sharps said no last year. Maybe June time. And we lost the calling Matlock, except on a Sunday. So all I've got to get me in and out of here is the Leicester and Lincoln services. Eleven thirty nine to the point for the eleven thirty seven East Midlands Railway service from Lincoln Central to Leicester and the eleven forty four East Midlands Railway service from Crew to Newark Castle. For some reason he was booked to call at Trent East Junction, but obviously didn't take it because there's nothing in his way. Was he on the wrong platform for this train? Why can't people read signs? This platform for Nottingham, platform to overcrossing or footbridge for Darby. Or, of course, East Midlands Parkway. It's all the same to me. Look at me on the one behind me as well, so it doesn't come out of nowhere. Right, he's over at Attenborough Junction. It's be a double stay at Barton Lane. Of 8806. They should have bought me up when I started to come an hour earlier. The Leicester. Next, the Crew Hook, which is not a caller. Next train's here. 156413. For Newark Castle. Service not resume, although this train's on time. Eleven forty five for the eleven forty seven cross country train service from Nottingham to Birmingham New Street. Let's 
check the log off the way just see if we're still struggling and diverting services via Oakram is the only way forwards. Right, for an issue that started pretty much first thing this morning to still be ongoing now. Whew, oh bloody hell, there was a trespass incident at Skegness. Of course there was. So... Uh, right, so it was 2012 that it reported to Skegness signal box that there was persons within the railway line somewhere. What's the news on Harborough? Expected to be complete fucking hell. 1730. So the six hours of disruption through Market Harbour. Which means most services of course won't call there until basically the end of service late this evening. If they do those be turned at Leicester and significantly delayed as a result. I think the train's nearby. That's only one zero two. For Birmingham New Street. In the next seven minutes is the next train, but we've got a gap in between. Mm -hmm. 